Hi, Miller Lab here. Today I'm going to make uh, kefir, and because I don't have that culture that I used to have when I was living in Canada, but then you need to do it all the time and kind of keep that culture alive. And because I moved to US. And now I don't know where to buy and I don't want to buy that culture because I can make my kefir from kefir and milk and that's all what you need okay I have here a glass jar that I'm going to use to put that kefir this is just a lightweight kefir it's just a um, plain unsweetened kefir. It has um, no added sugar. All that sugar that is in it is from the milk. And it says here, shake well before opening. But you can see that I already used this kefir. And now instead of buying a new one, I'm going to make me some kefir. Okay, this is a kefir and this is milk. I have the whole milk here. You can use any kind of milk. Okay, first I will pour milk into this jar. Okay, I think it's kind of just a little bit over half and then shaking well this kefir. I will add maybe okay third of a jar adding kefir and now and that's practically all you just need to kind of shake it well combine it and then you just leave it and on a room temperature, I will put it right here and in uh, two days, maybe day and a half, but for sure two days, I will have my own kefir right here. And I will make video when kefir is ready. Okay, thank you. We are back. This is um, after 48 hours of after we made that kefir and we will just see if it's ready just made it a little bit smoother oh yeah mm, it's beautiful it's not too much sour and that will happen if you keep it too long and now I'm going to put it in this in this bottle this is glass bottle from Snapple tea and as Babu says it was too fruity I'm just joking I just use this uh, glass bottle because it's kind of uh, glass is inert and it doesn't take any um, taste of plastic like sometimes it happens if you use uh, cheap plastic bottles. Okay, now this kefir will go to um, fridge and it's ready to be drink after it gets colder and now I am going to use that leftover kefir to make more okay I will just add milk but probably not full this time Clean this 
glass jar a little bit and leave it outside just to rinse it a little bit and I will leave it outside on the room temperature for two days and how long it needs to stay in the room temperature depends how much kefir you put with the milk if you put more then less time it needs to work or if you put less it needs to stay longer outside on the room temperature okay and that's it thank you very much Millerad here. This is just a part of previous video when I made kefir. This is what I made last time and as you can see it's just a little bit left. I drank it all and we will use that for something to add a little bit more milk and make it um, more kefir. And this is that original kefir that was also left a little bit in it and I just poured the milk and now it's all kefir. Kefir is also good and it's ready to go in the fridge. And, and this is one also that we made last time and I just want to check how it's doing after two days. Okay, you can come here closer. And now you can, you can see that it is much thicker than the last time. That means I kept it outside maybe too long, but that's okay. I will just stir it up and it will be a little bit thicker than usual, but still drinkable. Okay. Yeah, now it's it's right consistency. Not not uh, too sour. It's actually perfect. And I'm going to take a little sip. Do I have this got, got milk mustache? No? What about now? No, let me try one more time. Got milk. Actually got kefir. Um, I ended this too early. I got the milk. It's um, Lucerne milk with vitamin D. It doesn't say is it whole milk or skim or whatever it is, and that's very strange. But I think it's whole milk, and I will just pour it in this bottle. shake it a little bit to combine that leftovers of kefir and the milk and uh, this time I will put it in the dark place and it's going uh, right here Okay. okay, this time I'm out for sure. Until next video. <laughs> Thank you.